Hi, this is an introduction to applets using BlueJay. And as a matter of fact, BlueJay will make a complete default applet for you. I'm just going to take you um, through that applet and show you what's important and what's not. So to do it, just click New Class, and uh, let's call this uh, BlueJay Applet, and uh, select Applet as the type we want, and there it is. If we compile it, uh, it's all ready to run uh, as an applet, and we just right click and click Run Applet. Now we can display this applet in a web browser, or we can use in we can use the built-in applet viewer. Let's do that first. And uh, it popped up over here. I'll drag it down to where you can see it. Uh, there's not very much to it. We can also run it in the browser uh, instead of the applet viewer, which is this choice. We can run it in the browser. And here comes my browser window. There it is, sample applet created by BlueJay. So let's close that and get it out of the way. Now let's look at the code. And BlueJay gives you a lot of stuff here. Let's try to strip out what's not essential. Uh, we do need the, uh, the AWT import and the swing import because it uses swing. Uh, here's the, the header code. And it creates a number of routines for us. Um, the init routine is a little bit like the constructor for your applet. This should have uh, not too much code, just what barely is necessary to initialize your applet. And in fact, for this simple applet, we don't really need any initialization. Uh, as, for, as per this comment here, this code has been inserted uh, as a precaution for some situations, but as a matter of fact, we don't really need it. So let's get rid of that. And there are additional routines called start and stop. And if we go down here, there's destroy. None of these do anything in the default case. And there's something called get applet info that returns information about the applet. This is for uh, other development contexts where this information would be useful. And here is parameter info. Now this is, uh, uh, we can uh, look at uh, passing parameters later, but again, in this case, we don't need to do that. So let's get rid of all this extra code just to show you what the minimum requirements are. And we'll get rid of applet info here. We don't need it. Um, here's the part that actually does the work. Um, we have the, the, the method paint, which is what, by convention, the applet calls to actually produce what you see on your screen. And it takes this uh, graphic object this graphics object G and just draw some stuff on it. And you can look up these methods in the API. They're, they're pretty simple. Very basic hello world thing. So I got rid of those extra methods. Uh, the remaining ones have standard duties to perform, but in this case they don't need to do them, so these are all empty. So all we really need are these imports and this paint method, which just draws stuff on the applet. Uh, we can compile this. This is still good to go. Close it, and we can run it once again. We'll run it in the browser. Okay, I think my screen recorder blacked out this area, but it still uh, performed properly, so don't worry about this stuff. Let's look at the browser code. Close this window here. Okay, now let's go look at the web page that BlueJay created for us. Uh, here's my directory. This is the um, 
Blue Jay applet we created. Here's the compiled class code, the, uh, the Java byte code. And here's the HTML file. Let's take a look at it. So there's a lot of explanatory comments that it generates. Obviously, that doesn't do anything. And some standard um, HTML stuff. Here's the applet itself. It's between two tags, uh, applet and end applet, down here. And uh, the critical thing is the code, which is the class. In this case, it has to be in the same directory as the, as the browser code. And um, as a matter of fact, the only things we need are the code and the width and height. In fact, while we're at it, let's resize this make it a different width and height, just a little smaller. And uh, we include this archive argument that has to give us access to a lot of other stuff, but since this is so simple, we don't really need it. So let's, let's get rid of this extra stuff here. Let's see if I can do it. Come on. All this code highlighting is confusing me here. And we don't need this either. So that's it. Um, even though BlueJay was very generous in giving us a lot of extra stuff, um, all we really need to insert the applet into this web, web page are this applet tag, uh, a pointer to the compiled uh, Java bytecode, uh, width and height parameters, and that's that. Everything else is just precautionary stuff in case uh, the browser can't run applets, so it'll give you a proper uh, notification as to what the problem is and so forth. But let's save this, close the editor, and now we can run this again. We'll just open it in the browser, and our app works just fine. Okay, that's the end of this session. Next time we'll try to do something a little more interesting.